Good afternoon, everyone. This is Reverend Kit Holmes. It is Wednesday. That means it is time for One Mind Wednesdays. As uh, you're looking and seeing all of this ice and wintry mix around me, I am not actually in Michigan. I'm in Texas and uh, in the middle of this um, significant ice storm in, in the Hill Country area. This uh, morning, this evening, uh, this evening, this afternoon, um, as I'm standing out here, yes, it is treacherous. No, not going anywhere, not driving, not doing any of that stuff. Um, just the snapping, the sounds of the snapping of tree branches and uh, as they sink to the ground under the weight of the ice. And uh, in the distance, um, the buzz of chainsaws happening in this event. So the one I'm calling One Mind Wednesdays today is called How It Works. And what do I mean by that? When when we are faced with something like a natural event like this, where there is significant uh, effects to human life, um, we want to go into prayer, which is a good thing to do. It's always good to go to spirit first. In the middle of the night, the power went off here. And that's the first thing um, other, other my, my anxiety came up was, oh, that's right. What do I do? I go to spirit. I go to the one mind. I go to the infinite intelligence first. And I know and I trust that everything is working out as it needs to, as it should. How it works is I don't just do this for myself. I use my mind, my intelligence, my, uh, my wisdom, my intuition to move into an affirmative prayer. Of course, for myself, it's it's like when you're on the airplane and they say if the uh, if the oxygen masks drop, put it on your face first so that you have oxygen so that you can help others. So I do the same thing. And this is how it is in affirmative prayer and spiritual mind treatment, what we call in the um, science of mind from Centers for Spiritual Living. We go into our own mind because, number one, that's the only mind we can change. That's the only place we can make change. But then we know that we are connected to that one mind. And so as we do our prayers for ourselves, we send them out. And as soon as we send out that energy to others and we think about how just knowing and trusting that they, that everyone, our loved ones, our neighbors, anybody, we may not know the person down the street, but we know and we hold that they are also warm and sheltered and taken care of in any kind of a, a natural thing that's happening. So the mechanics of that, the mechanics of how it works is we are moving our consciousness in the direction of that truth that all is well. may not seem like it on the surface. But I want to give the example of how it works is that in the middle of the night, around 3.30 in the morning, um, moving into that affirmative prayer and then um, trusting, leaning into, having faith in things, working out exactly as they are supposed to and there is good involved, I found myself able to relax and started getting creative about things. And I also, of course, noticed how many things I take for granted in my day, all of the amenities and the conveniences that I have. Yeah, there's some, <laughs> you see that sagging power line behind me. And it is still raining here. Um, but the mechanics of it is, as soon as I moved into trust and in knowing that all is well, no matter what happened, I was able to relax and go right back to sleep. And lo and behold, it was only a couple hours later that the power was restored. So it is proving to ourselves that this stuff does work because it really does. And I've done that over the years and I know many of you have as well. So that's my encouragement to you today is to continue to lean in. Number one, if you're in this area or if you're anywhere in the world where there is a natural um, disaster or weather event or whatever it might be, of course, take care of yourselves first, check on your neighbors, say your prayers. That's the thing. And lean into knowing there is always a spiritual solution to every perceived problem. And when we get those places, we lean into our intuition, we can get real creative and we can find those solutions really easily. And Providence will move in our favor when we do that to move those things. Instead of panicking and creating more panic with our consciousness, we create the calm and the calm and the answers and the solutions pop in. Sounds simple, easier to, <laughs> a lot more challenging to practice. So be well, stay safe out there, check on everybody, tell everybody today that you love them. I love you dearly. 